What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you all how I do my fake mon art. If you wanna check out my other fake mon videos, I'll link the playlist in the description below. Make sure to watch the video to the end, let's get started. I use the Procreate app to do my art, and these are all the brushes I use. They're all linked in the description below, so use them if you want. For line art, I use the first brush and an apple pencil. The apple pencil is able to replicate Pokemon sort of inky line art very nicely, and yeah. I know an apple pencil is kinda expensive, but other pencils don't have pressure sensitivity, so what can I do? For shading and highlights, I have two brushes. They're pretty similar, but one's at 30% opacity and the other one's at 45. I use the 30% one when I want kind of like softer shading and the 40% one for more defined shading. Honestly, the way I shade, it's just kinda instinctual. I just do whatever I think looks good and fits the Pokemon style the most. Alright, so I'm done with explaining my brushes. Now I'm gonna talk about how I actually do my art. I do everything normally, like line art and coloring, except for shading, alright? Shading's different. What I do when I shade is, I get a new layer, I select one of my brushes, I randomly do the 30 or 45% one, it's just how I want it to look, and then I shade, right? The shading doesn't have to be equal, just do it like randomly on the part you want it, right? And then what I do after that is, I get the layer's opacity and turn it down to like 50 to 30%. Sometimes I do a bit less than that, sometimes I do more. For this one, I'm just gonna choose 40% because that's a, like a sort of middle ground, right? And as you can see, it already kind of looks like Pokemon's shading. But the thing that makes it look most like Pokemon's shading is this. I'll get my eraser, select the same brush I used to shade, and then just shade around the edges, right? I'm just gonna do it like randomly and just like a, a bunch of like stuff that like honestly it's just random it's instinctual right and then yeah that's how I shade and after that I just erase the edges like this and I'm done now for highlights it, it's the exact same thing but with a few color differences so again I'm gonna select a new layer right and then you'd think that I use white for my highlights but no most fake one creators actually use a kind of yellowish white like this right Sometimes it's yellowish white, sometimes it's bluish white, sometimes it's normal white, but normal white's very rare. Mostly it's just yellow white. So let's choose something like this, right? What I do with highlights is I get my 45% shading and then I just. Alright, let's just turn my brush size up like this. I just do this, right? So just shade wherever you want and then. Again, turn the layer's opacity down, and like this, right? So it, again, it already kind of looks like Pokemon style, and I just do the same thing with shading. Except, this time, I do a mix of 45 and 30% to erase the thing. To establish the general, like, lines of the shading, I use the 45% brush, like this. And for the, like, more finer details, I use the 30% brush. So, that's how I do my shading. So, let's talk more about how I do my highlights. In the Pokemon style, there's three kinds of highlights. So for example, let's take this ball, right? We can do this, right? So it, it's like a, just a generic, you know, like circle shading on the top, right? Or we can do this. It's basically just a bigger version and it still works. And of course, we can do the last part like I showed you earlier in my example when I was talking about how to do my stuff, right? You'll learn eventually, if you keep practicing, which one is right for which type of situation. And like, as for me, I can't really explain how I do it. Like, it's always just the same thing. I just do whatever I think looks good. When making the shinies of the fake one I do, I usually just duplicate the line art layer and color fill from there. Right? That's actually how I color as well. I just duplicate the line art layer and it actually saves me a lot of time. So yeah, that's a useful tip. But you know, it's not really that important. But another thing I do when making shinies is sometimes I do this and then I just adjust colors and stuff like that, right? So this thing is a very, very useful tool for making shinies. It just like helps a lot and just like move the thing until you find something that looks good. To give you guys more of an example on how I do my stuff, let's take a look at this mod that my friend Monster Asylum commissioned from me. And yeah, speaking of commissions, I actually do them. If you want one from me, just send me a DM on Discord and we'll talk. I have very low prices, 
as low as like $1 or something like that. And anyways, let's get back on track. So when you look at this mod, we can already see that there's the sh like the types of shading I talked about earlier are being put to use here. We have the sharp shading here. We have the kind of like lumpy shading here. And we have just like the generic, like kind of like ball shading over in this arm, right? And then if we look at my layers, 16% and 19%. Like I said, I just do whatever I think looks good. And when you put this to like 100%, we can see that it's not exactly white, like I said earlier, right? So again, what you're gonna wanna do in shading is just like wiggle this thing on and off, right? And then, all right, do you see this thing at the bottom here? Hold on, let's just do this. This bottom layer, it's dark blue, right? And then that just, like, I just do this to give, like, my fake one art, like, an extra kick. Like, to make it, like, dark, right? And then usually, yeah, I use dark blue, dark green, stuff like that for that kind of shading. And then let's talk about shiny stuff, right? When making a shiny, I, like, this is the best way to do it. I just go here, here, and then... So, as you can see, the thing I talked about earlier, it's being put to good use. This is a fast and easy way to get a very good shiny Pokemon. I know this video was a bit hard to follow because most of this stuff was unscripted, so thanks for listening. Alright guys, I think that's it. If you guys have any more questions, you can ask me on my Discord server, I just made a new one. Link is in the description below, please join. If you need any help with like fake mon poses or anything, you're free to leave me a DM on Discord as well. I won't do any like actual completed art, but I'll do small things, maybe. That's all for this video. If you liked it, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. See you next video.